Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, Kyle Frederick, the director of food and beverage from Zoe's Kitchen, is joining us again here in our second hour. And in the first hour, you made this, uh, that hummus. I was snacking dip. on yeah. that all, all hour. And now you are back with a quinoa burger, which I yes. love quinoa burgers. So we've got another healthy option for you to celebrate during summer. And I'll tell you, at the heart of Zoe's, our mission is delivering goodness from the inside out. We do that through our food, and we also do that in the service that we provide to our guests. Well, and I love that y'all make so many things that just because, um, you know, like I'll use your pimento cheese for an example. Just because it's pimento cheese doesn't mean it needs to be unhealthy. And just because Absolutely. I love burgers doesn't mean I can't have a great quinoa burger. It's a great that's a great burger topping. Uh, you know, my wife quinoa loves burger this. with pimento cheese. Is your mouth watering right now? <laughs> so I'll go on a limb here. You know, sometimes beef burgers can get a little boring. So yes. we're going to show you a little bit of twist. We're going to use. And this looks fairly easy. Yes, we're going to use uh, our fresh take quinoa that you can pick up in the restaurant. Okay. It's already prepared for you. So we can just pick up a cup of that, or yep. you know, comes a, in a, a serving in a of fresh that. take tub. Awesome. Yep. And then we're going to add a little bit of panko. That's just going to help keep it together. Is that going to firm it up a little bit? Yes. Okay. And we're also going to use a lightly whipped egg to do the same thing. Okay. Just a little bit here. And then and I'm going to And you put add this into, a, into just a food, food just processor. Just a food processor. And then just a little bit of cannellini beans here. What is that? What's the point of the cannellini beans? Just does it give it a little just meatiness? It's going to give you more protein in there. Oh. So it's actually going to taste like a burger. And we've got, we'll have the recipe up on our website. If you aren't, don't have a pen handy, there's um, the recipes there on the yeah, side. Yeah, super easy. You're just going to give this a little chop. Got That's it. That's going to go into the bowl. Little and it's chop, actually, chop, chop. you're going to end up having these little patties. Now the trick here is to put it in your cooler so that it firms up a little bit. Okay. Or else it's going to fall apart How long do we need to leave that in the icebox? You need to leave it in there minimum 10 minutes and got it'll it. firm up pretty quickly. So I've got this quinoa burger already cooking here. Okay. Now, I'm going to have mine on a, on a bun, but we've also have romaine lettuce in case you're trying to go with like a gluten-free option here. And do like a lettuce, uh, exactly. a lettuce bun. And so the last recipe I made, uh, the Mediterranean hummus dip, if you have some of that left over, Ooh. you can actually use that as a spread instead of mayonnaise, which... My wife does this on all of our sandwiches. Because so. it makes it a little less, I think you probably watch the sodium, I feel like when you put like mayonnaise exactly. and mustard and ketchup on a, on a um, burgers for so you. So I'll just toss yourself. that up on there. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I mean, and then you're gonna dress it up with some lettuce, some easy. tomato. Yeah. I, mean, I know Teresa has like been winking at this quinoa burger for the past hour. She yes. wants to try it. It's got a little cucumber in it. So unfortunately it I can't taste it, but I know Teresa is excited to taste this up. Now also one of my favorite things that y'all at Zoe's Kitchen is your limeade too. And you are so sweet because you know we don't function without cocktails here at the broadcast. Yes. And so you whipped me up a delicious quick little So I've got a little bit of our limeade, some strawberry, blueberries, and then just a splash of red wine. Uh, red wine. And that's and such a refreshing drink for summertime. Easy enough. I love yes. this. Does, well, does it have the T-Fro stamp of approval? Mm -hmm. It does. She loves it. So Good. easy. Thank you yes. for being here this Absolutely. morning. And of course, you can find this recipe on our website. You can find that at thebroadcasttv.com or visit mm -hmm. one of the Zoe's in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Okay, coming up next, we are talking to a woman who was extremely close to Nelson Mandela throughout his life. She's now telling her story in a new memoir. Stay tuned. We're learning about that next from the broadcast continues.